It's springtime, and as your pond wakes up from its winter slumber, now is a great time for a cleanout. Begin by draining the pond using a cleanout pump. If the pond has fish, first use some of the pond water to fill a container that will temporarily house them. Unplug the waterfall pump and disconnect the check valve from the return line, allowing the pipe and biofalls to be drained. Remove the filtration media from the filter units and use the pond discharge water to thoroughly rinse down the components. Walk up and down the pond area and collect any solid waste, such as leaves or other debris, by hand. Drain the pond until there is approximately 6 inches of water left and gently catch the fish and place them in the container. The use of air stones in the container is always a good idea to maintain proper oxygen levels and the use of a screen or net will prevent the fish from jumping out. Finish draining the pond and removing debris in preparation for pressure washing. Start at the top and work your way down, while pumping out the dirty water that is collecting at the bottom. Proceed to clean the biofalls and skimmer filter by pumping the water out and hosing them down. Continue to power wash the pond until most of the algae has been stripped from the stones. Rinsing down and removing debris from the rocks and gravel will be the most time-consuming part of the cleanup. Be sure to cover any exposed areas of liner with gravel that has made its way to the pond floor. Replace the filtration media in the biofalls and reconnect the waterfall pump in the skimmer. Complete reassembly by installing the filter mat, debris basket, and skimmer lid. Before refilling the pond, now is a good time to replace any underwater lighting bulbs that may have burned out. Also, if you currently have an iNGen water clarification system installed, it would be a great time to replace your probe if needed. Now that most of the algae and debris are removed and the gravel is clear, pull the pump and begin filling the pond. Using pond detoxifier is always a good idea to neutralize the chlorine, chloramines, and heavy metals from the new pond water. Once the pond has a foot of water or more, you can prepare to reintroduce the fish. Using fish bags or small containers, float the fish for roughly 15 to 20 minutes to help acclimate them to the new water temperature before releasing them. Continue to fill the pond to the proper water level, and in no time your pond ecosystem will re-establish itself and flourish throughout the new season.